Hello everybody, this is a quick video about the top 5 reasons why I will miss Total Biscuit. For those of you who don't know who he is, Total Biscuit, also known as John Bain, was one of the most popular, if not the most popular video game critic on YouTube, with a fan following of over a million gamers. Recently he announced that his cancer disease has taken a toll on his body and therefore he will stop doing any more reviews. He will still make YouTube videos, but they will be mostly podcasts. I am making this video because I have a genuine appreciation and respect for this man. I will never get to meet him, and I doubt he will ever see this video, because I doubt he checks out smaller YouTube channels. But I will make this video because I want to express my opinion about John Bain, and the recent news of him not doing video game reviews anymore, as his health has gotten worse, and he has lim limited time left on this planet. So here are the top 5 reasons why I will miss Total Biscuit. Number 5. Honesty. In a world oversaturated with lies, deception, and propaganda, John Bain was the voice of honesty, logic, and rationality. He would always give his honest opinions on every game he reviewed. He kept my hopes up in the video game journalism industry. He never said what you wanted to hear, he always said what you needed to hear. During the Gamergate incident, there were reports and rumors of a video game developer who got into bed with a game journalist, hoping that in return the game journalist will give their game a positive review. John Bain did not do anything like that. He, on the other hand, stuck to his honest routine of giving games a fair and just review. Reason number four. Excellent critic. Total Biscuit was not a good but a great video game critic. He would look, play, review, and comment on every single aspect of the game, such as gameplay, plot, graphics, soundtrack, controls, replay value, and the overall presentation and, and execution of the game. Reason number three. He did not shy away from giving his opinion on controversial topics like Gamergate and gaming media corruption. A lot of YouTubers and video game reviewers were hesitant to talk about this topic of Gamergate. Even Angry Joe did not say much about this, probably because of the fear of pushback from social justice warriors, feminists, and Anita Sarkeesian supporters. Total Biscuit, on the other hand, stuck to his guns and fearlessly laid out his opinion about the whole situation. He stood tall on the side of the truth. Number 2. Not a sellout. I have lost count of how many YouTube video game reviewers who started off great, achieved a lot of subscribers and fame, and then sold themselves out to some corporation, or they decided to make videos on just one game like Overwatch or League of Legends. In his entire YouTube career, Total Biscuit never sold out to anyone. He always offered unbiased, unprejudiced, fair and transparent commentary on gaming news and issues. And the final reason why I will miss Total Biscuit was because he is a man of principle and passion. You can tell from his voice, energy and, and enthusiasm he puts in his videos that he genuinely has a passion for video games, unlike Anita Sarkeesian who was exposed as a fraud that does not play video games and just invents issues like sexism in the video game industry to make herself relevant and get more media attention, Total Biscuit, on the other hand, loved video games and it was his undying passion. In conclusion, Total Biscuit will be really missed after he is gone. I already miss his excellent commentary on YouTube and the knowledge, insight, and hope that he used to give us, give us in his videos. I wish him and his family all the best in life.